Meja Syndrome, Wikipedia Article Audio Meja Syndrome is a type of dystonia. It is also known as Bruegel's Syndrome and Oral Facial Dystonia. It is actually a combination of two forms of dystonia, blepharospasm and oromandibular dystonia. Symptoms A few upper and lower dystonia types Diagnosis Presentation Treatment When OMD is combined with blepharospasm, it may be referred to as Mejia syndrome named after Henri Mejia, the French neurologist who first described the symptoms in detail in 1910. The symptoms usually begin between the ages of 30 and 70 years old and appear to be more common in women than in men. The combination of upper and lower dystonia is sometimes called cranial cervical dystonia. The incidence is about one case in 20,000 people. Oromandibular symptoms Blepharospasm symptoms In addition, in some patients, the dystonic spasms may sometimes be provoked by certain activities, such as talking, chewing, or biting. Particular activities or sensory tricks may sometimes temporarily alleviate OMD symptoms, including chewing gum, talking, placing a toothpick in the mouth, lightly touching the lips or chin, or applying pressure beneath the chin. The Greek word blepharon means eyelid. Spasm means uncontrolled muscle contraction. The term blepharospasm can be applied to any abnormal blinking or eyelid tick or twitch resulting from any cause, ranging from dry eyes to Tourette's syndrome to tardive dyskinesia. The blepharospasm referred to here is officially called benign essential blepharospasm to distinguish it from the less serious secondary blinking disorders. Benign indicates the condition is not life-threatening and essential is a medical term meaning of unknown cause. It is both a cranial and a focal dystonia. Cranial refers to the head and focal indicates confinement to one part. The word dystonia describes abnormal involuntary sustained muscle contractions and spasms. Patients with blepharospasm have normal eyes. The visual disturbance is due solely to the forced closure of the eyelids. Oromandibular dystonia is a form of focal dystonia that affects varying areas of the head and neck including the lower face, jaw, tongue, and larynx. The spasms may cause the mouth to pull open, shut tight, or move repetitively. Speech and swallowing may be distorted. It is often associated with dystonia of the cervical muscles, eyelids, or larynx. In patients with OMD, involuntary contractions may involve the muscles used for chewing. These may include the thick muscle in the cheek that closes the jaw and the broad muscle that draws back the lower jaw and closes the mouth. Some patients may also experience involuntary contractions of the wide muscle at the side of the neck. This muscle draws down the corner of the mouth and lower lip or other muscle groups. Mejas is commonly misdiagnosed and most doctors will have not seen this condition before. Usually a neurologist who specializes in movement disorders can detect mejas. There is no way to detect mejas by blood test or MRI or CT scans. OMD by itself may be misdiagnosed as TMJ. The lack of prompt response to anticholinergic drugs in cases of idiopathic mejia syndrome is important in differentiating it from acute dystonia, which does respond to anticholinergics. The main symptoms involve involuntary blinking and chin thrusting. Some patients may experience excessive tongue protrusion, squinting, light sensitivity, muddled speech, or uncontrollable contraction of the platysma muscle. Some Mejia's patients also have laryngeal dystonia. 
Blepharospasm may lead to embarrassment in social situations, and or mandibular dystonia can affect speech, making it difficult to carry on the simplest conversations. This can cause difficulty in both personal and professional contexts, and in some cases may cause patients to withdraw from social situations. The condition tends to affect women more frequently than men. In some cases Maja's syndrome can be reversed when it is caused by medication. It has been theorized that it is related to craniomandibular orthopedic misalignment, a condition that has been shown to cause a number of other movement disorders to rats, and torticollis. This theory is supported by the fact that the trigeminal nerve is sensory for blink reflex, and becomes hypertonic with craniomandibular dysfunction. Palliative treatments are available, such as botulinum toxin injections. Difficulty opening the mouth, clenching or grinding of the teeth, spasms of jaw opening, sideways deviation or protrusion of the jaw, lip tightening and pursing, drawing back of the corners of the mouth, deviation or protrusion of the tongue jaw pain, difficulties eating and drinking, difficulties speaking. The first symptom to appear is an increased rate of blinking, uncontrollable squinting slash closing of eyes, light sensitivity, squinting slash eyes closing during speech, uncontrollable eyes closing shut. <laughs>